welcome back to another episode of the Paranormal Journals, only here on Black Mass Paranormal. So, we've had some crazy stuff happening the past couple days. Like, what the freaking heck is going on in this country? So, on February 4th, we find out that China is sending a spy balloon all the way across the United States. For some reason, they decided to wait until the very last minute to shoot this thing down. Now, I'm not sure exactly what our government is thinking here um, because it's this isn't the you know 1960s where data cannot be transmitted live to our enemies. So kind of baffled me. I didn't really understand the thinking happening here. But what that put into motion was all of a sudden everybody is looking up now. It's kind of funny, there was a movie that was, was released not too long ago that I thought was pretty funny called Don't Look Up. Um, and now we are discovering all of these objects that are flying over the United States and Canada. Now, whether or not... Haunting place... <laughs> Uh, whether or not, um, I totally lost my train of thought, whether or not these objects are a result of a military trying to infiltrate the United States and Canada, um, me personally being former military, uh, the spy balloon, I believe, was used in order to gather uh, population densities and energy grids, as well as locating where our missile systems actually are but now that everybody is paying attention to what is happening in the skies we are finding more strange objects so on february 10th a object was shot down out of the sky over alaska now the area where it was is supposedly extremely difficult to get to uh that it's way out in the middle of nowhere and recovery efforts are extremely difficult. Then on the following day, on uh, February 11th, the Saturday, a, another object was shot down over Yukon Territory in Canada. Now what's interesting to me is that the government claims that these objects were a threat to civilian life, which um, is pretty serious. Now then uh, NORAD began picking up different radar anomalies. Now whether or not this is a, a military exercise or this is something else uh, they haven't come out and cleared the air on it which to me is pretty interesting I watched a um, an interview with a military official and he specifically did not rule out aliens now one of the objects that was picked up over uh, Montana on the radar was described as being octagonal. So after this object was picked up over Montana, immediately the FAA closed all airspace. Now, this is a little bit different than what had happened with the Chinese spy balloon. The spy balloon just kind of seemed to float, you know, carelessly across the United States. It was never a threat to civilian population. So what is the difference between these objects now floating across the United States? Apparently, the United States government has looked at these objects and is saying that Americans' lives are at risk. Now, what's interesting is that the pilots that are seeing these UFOs in the sky are reporting different things. Now, 
different pilots will approach these objects and they claim to see something different than the other pilot that approached the object and saw these same object. Now, something else that is even crazier is that these pilots now are reporting that they had interference occurring with their equipment as they approach these objects. And that kind of builds us up to what happened over the Great Lakes. On Sunday, as this object that was originally picked up in Montana comes over the Great Lakes, they are saying that it is an octagonal shaped craft or UFO. They don't know exactly what this thing is. So the pilots, the fighter jets, jump in their aircraft, take off, and they go and supposedly shoot this thing down. Now they're having trouble recovering all of these objects, is what they're saying. They were able to pick up the, the spy balloon pretty swiftly for some reason. But these objects that they are now shooting down and picking up, they're struggling to identify exactly what these things are. This is the first time that NORAD and the U.S. North, Northern Command has taken kinetic action against an airborne object over the United States territory. So this, however you cut it, is huge. The United States is now shooting down objects over our territory. Now, the question is, what are these objects? Are they spy balloons? Did the US government actually use the Chinese spy balloon as kind of a distraction for the um, American public to be like, Oh, it's just another military, another enemy military craft trying to gather information on the United States military capabilities, their population densities, their uh, electric grid, their utilities, uh, their food supplies. Are we really at this point in our country? that this stuff is happening. Then on Saturday, the uh, US government actually did an ICBM test. To my knowledge, that's not something that occurs very often, especially off the coast of California, where something dramatic could go wrong. Now, I find it interesting that the US government and the media has been slowly feeding the American public information about UFOs, UAPs. It's like they are starting to leak these documents about aliens or UFOs to the public. So when something major actually does happen, people are not surprised. Now, for those of you all who aren't aware, NASA actually has a budget for explaining the existence of aliens to assist with the religious understanding. That way people, when they finally come out that there are aliens, NASA will not, NASA will then be explaining to those, those who actively practice their religion won't have a complete and utter breakdown. Now, me personally, I don't believe that the discovery of intelligent um, alien life has any effect on uh my Christian beliefs. Uh, it, it just, to me, uh, it, it, it doesn't affect uh, my views in any way, shape, or form. 
So with all of this craziness being said, y'all, I am back at uh, video editing. I have been filming uh, constantly these uh, past couple weeks. I want to try and get as many investigations that I can uh, before the weather changes because um, I want to have a good representation of the activity that occurs during the winter time versus the activity that occurs during summer. Not to mention, when I get out in these woods by myself, where a specific cryptid has been reported, um, it can get kind of nerve-wracking when you're trying to look through this dense forest. You know, you never know exactly what's on the other side of that bush. And I will never forget the uh, that one encounter when I found that uh, Bigfoot footprint. Uh, the object that I saw um, moving through the woods. It, you know, it literally scared the crap out of me. Um, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything move like that. Um, it was just wild. And with the brush uh, being green and dense, it was a little bit more difficult for me to not only film this thing, but to see exactly where it was. You know, I could hear it moving in the woods, but I couldn't see exactly where it was coming from because of the density. Um, with that being said, uh, YouTube's been kind of killing creators here uh, lately. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's, happen what's happening with that. So if you all could, do me a huge favor, share this video, uh, like this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you're on your notifications. Make sure for this channel at least, uh, turn on all. Um, I don't, I, I'm feeling like um, people are not getting notified uh, when I post my new videos. Thank you all so much for the support. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Paranormal Journals. I was pretty fascinated, pretty excited when, you know, the U.S. government's using the terms UFOs, the media's using the terms UFOs, everybody's talking about UFOs being shot down. Now, exactly what's going to happen with this, who knows? But I can say one thing, you all definitely get yourselves prepared. Make sure that you have, uh, you know, some food stores, uh, make sure you have access to clean water. Uh, your basic necess necessities, uh, and, you know, in case something happens, try to get yourself, your family covered for at least three days. That way, you know, it will at the very least give you time to think, give you time to evaluate the situation and figure out what is going on. So with all that being said, I hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's happy, and uh, until next time.